Okay, so let's change this. We're not gonna do Santino yet. Santino, Santino's gonna be a heal, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that to where he has like an awesome move set. Uh, all right, so I need jobbers. Let's do Sincara. I just don't want to have that stupid mood lighting on. It'd be nice, but I doubt it. Yeah, that's like his thing. Yeah. Alright, so Antonio Cesaro versus Sincara. Oh, he looks so much better than he did in, uh, 13. Yeah, it looks a lot more... Cat! Fuck off. He's got the thigh wraps and everything. That's cool. He's got the nice entrance jacket. Alright, next. I like Sin Cara, but he's gotten... It sucks what's happened to him. It's like he, he means well. And he... But, ugh. He comes from that... Lucha Libre way of thinking, whereas if you're a star, you can just do whatever the fuck you want to do. And, unfortunately, that has not really worked well for him in WWE. And I think he needs to get his ego checked. But, he just did an interview for uh, Super Luchas, where he, you know, he kind of admitted that, you know... So far, his run has not exactly been the best, and uh, but he says he's feeling a lot better now. Uh, his injuries are kind of better, and he's feeling better, and he says he realizes he has a lot to work on. So that's that's cool, you know. I'm all right with that as long as you know you're a wrestler and you realize you got shit to work on, then you're okay in my book. So you know, hopefully he gets his shit together because he he's so he's amazing. He really is an amazing athlete, but it's against people who work his style. And unfortunately, I don't think a lot of lucha guys think about that before they make the uh, the move here to the U.S. Because unless you wrestle in like Ring of Honor, Chikara, you know, groups like that, not a lot of people work a lucha style. So well, that didn't work out, did it? Um, so you know, unfortunately, that that kind of sucks. Uh, but, man, he would be amazing in Japan. And, you know, he is a former uh, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And I think he would do uh, really good right now in Japan with the way they have uh, their Junior Heavyweights right now. There's a, you know, there's always been a big focus in the Junior Heavyweights where, you know, the Junior Heavyweights would main event some of the largest arenas. And I think Mystico versus Prince Devitt uh, Mystico and Tanahashi would be an amazing team, like a kind of a mixed junior heavyweight, heavyweight tournament type, you know, thing they could do. Oh, sweet. That was awesome. I'm still getting way too many one counts for my liking. What's going to happen here? And Snake Eyes? I've never liked that move. Like, it's alright, I guess. If it's a setup move, but like. Mm, it doesn't seem like it hurts that much unless you really hurl them up there in the air. Uh, Fujiwara? Alright. Can't do high flying if you don't have arms to grab onto a rope. Still the pop-up European? No, what the hell? Oh! The gut, delayed gut wrench. Alright, now what about this? Is this going to be the neutral? What? What happened to the neutralizer? Um. Jimbo don't like that. One, two, three. Alright, Cesaro gets the win.
his first in. So there's the delayed gut wrench suplex. And then the pop-up European uppercut followed by the pin right there. And then, damn. So I guess the neutralizer must be his secondary finisher. Because that neutralizer is really good. I might change that back to how it was on 13. Do the pop-up as his signature and then the neutralizer as his finisher. But of course I'm also going to have the Gotch style pile driver as Santino's signature and finisher. So maybe that would not, you know, two guys having the same type of finisher may not be. He's got gigantic nipples by the way. I just want to point that out right there. <laughs> it's, it's Christian has no nipples. He has oversaturation of the nipples. That's hilarious. Okay, so, next next uh, match here. Alright, Justin Gabriel versus Jinder Mahal, huh? Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Uh, yeah. We'll just leave that the same. We'll see how, uh, see the base just got real junky right there. I hate when that happens. I, uh, I turned it down. I don't want to turn it down too much. It might sound funny if I have no bass. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Cape Town, South Africa. Weighing 213 pounds. Okay. I don't know, I heard that. And he has gigantic nipples too. He has milk dud nipples. Why am I looking at everybody's nipples? He has chocolate nips. <laughs> chocolate nips. Is that like that Easter candy nips? Ah. Seamus looks so very surprised in that picture. Okay, so we're gonna X to join. And then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be gender and then you gotta start. Snap mare and a big elbow to the back of the head. Wear him down. You know, I'm big on like actual like doing stuff that they actually do in the matches. So if you ever, if you, if you're wondering why I go for the pin right right after the first move, well that's why because they try to wear him down. You know. Now, I don't appreciate that, sir. 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 I do not appreciate your ugly haircut, sir. Why did you get back in? Okay, I just put. Ginger, you're not doing too good. You're you're letting me down, bro. Yeah. There. Oh, I forgot. I gotta go watch Person of Interest in a bit. That show sucks. You don't watch any TV besides cartoons. So what do you know about good I TV? Watch show exactly. You don't watch any shows besides regular besides cartoons. So I just said, well, retard. True. And you can't turn as much as you could on uh, doing some moves now. You can only turn, you know, just slightly. Which makes sense, because you're not going to sit there and do, uh, you know, uh, three 360s, and, you know, while you're holding the guy. So, I keep hitting it too fast, like way too fast. And why do you keep getting in the damn ring? Do a springboard move, you jerk off. Go back to Total Divas and flirt with the black chick. Whose name I forget at the moment. Complete shot. Go for the pin. One. No. And then dump her before the show's over. Big knee left. One. Two. Okay. I technically got a two count. So. Alright, gender. No, watch it be the stupid Death Valley driver again. Why? He doesn't even do that. He doesn't even do that. He doesn't. He doesn't. Turn around, you scumbag. Now he does this move. I've seen him do that move. Now watch Justin Gabriel flopping around like a fish out of water. I like how they're left laid out too. One, two, and three. 
All right, so Jinder gets a win. It's kind of odd to see him get a win on Superstars. I think Superstars might get turned into NXT, to be honest, once we get the, enough uh, created Superstars downloaded and created. We'll, uh, we'll do that. So one, two, kick out there. And then a DVD, which I don't even... I've never seen him use that move before in my life, so I have no idea why the hell that's on there. Up and down. It should be that followed by the camel clutch. Because I've seen him use the camel clutch. God, he looks so weird doing that. Alright. Exit. <laughs> no more of that, please. Alright, next up is going to be uh, Swagger versus Punk. Let's do it. And play. So this should be, uh, this should be, what is that cat's problem? Alright, right, it's we the people. It's we the people, Jack Swagger. Awesome. But no Zeb. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we get need good old Uncle Zeb. Cross the line, bitches. Yeah. Oh, that'd be hilarious. And like a hard hat and a, a little one of those little uh, cropping things, you know? Horse crop thing. That'd be a hilarious. He'd be look, look, looking like General Patton. <laughs> I like Swagger. Swagger doesn't get enough due. I was so jacked when he won the Elimination Chamber last year. That was so fucking cool. And here's good old Punk. His gear looks a lot better, especially his kick pads. Looks like they redid the kick pads now. See if he yells it's if it's. Oh, he didn't yell it's clobber in time. I guess he might not be able to since that's a Marvel thing. They don't want to pay more money to Marvel, considering that they have to copyright the Incredible Hulk. They have to work that out. All right. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Sucks. Cold socks. Cold socks. Yeah, God damn it! What? Hang on. I hate. I hate that now. Okay. Press X, not start. That is stupid. Swagger. Start. I don't like how they changed that now. That is like an unnecessarily unnecessary number of buttons you gotta hit. And all right. Not bad. What are you talking about? Swagger's had it taken to him here. I'm kicking his punk's ass. Ow. That was just a drop to the floor. Yeah, we need Zeb. I know Paul Heyman's on here. We why need... not Zeb? Exactly. Why not Zeb? Poke to the eye. Poke to the eye! Poke to the eye! Uh oh. Saito suplex? Yep. And a leg drop. Okay, kitty. You got. You seriously gotta drop the attitude now. You're pissing me off now. It's annoying! It's just like sitting there going... Like for no reason whatsoever. It's just sitting on the bed, looking at Justin in the game. Like... Does it not like the movements of the screen? I don't know. What is it? Just staring at the battlefield. It's like, yeah, kitty, I'm shooting a guy in the face. Like Jesus H. Christ, kitty. <sighs> Fuck. Shut up. I know. Get it. Get a grip. <laughs> I don't like the game either. I think he sucks at it, but I'm hey. not over there bitching. <laughs> if the game just came out. Excuses. Excuses. 
you 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 need to be like a professional battlefield player and win me money so I can oh. retire. Oh. 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 This guy. You can actually counterattack. What the hell was that? Oh, there we go. We're going to start a battlefield playthrough, so keep your commentary to yourself, okay? Unless it's WWE related. I don't want to hear it. Well, I could go shoot that poor face, but I mean, I guess that's WWE. Bitch, it's on. What's his signature? Uh oh. Holy shit, what the fuck? It was like it was talking to you or something. What the hell? I don't know, but it's distracting me. Oh, now I got a finisher. I wonder what my finisher is. I'm going to give him... No, not a Huracarana, huh? No, belly to belly? Oh, double underhook. I haven't really... Oh, shit. Gut wrench. They redid the gut wrench. That's pretty good. One, two, three. All right, Swagger got a big pin. Hell, catch the claw on me, seriously? All right, so Swagger gets a big win over Punk. It's pretty much of a, well, a very dominant win as well, followed by the jackknife power bomb. And one, two, three. All right, not bad. American American Swagger. You said it. The only good thing for him is that the beating stopped. Oh, you can hear him say "We the people." That's awesome. But it's not the same without Zeb. Okay. All right. So let's go see what else we can do here. There's, there, there, I'm sure there's plenty we can do here. Wait, the cat seems to have calmed down now. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> Alright. Damn, we got two more matches? Holy shit. I'm so used to only having like three matches on Superstars. That's insane. Alright, so Sin Cara versus Titus O'Neil. Well, we gotta change that. But Darren Young and Drew McIntyre will definitely be the, the main event.